Tuesday night baseball set to come your and, uh, way from Fenway Park in Boston. Boston. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next. Now at the plate, number two. No third. one aboard for him, the and two baseman. gone here in the first. Number two. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Lozano going back on it. You can kiss it goodbye. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Ready now, number two. He went deep in his number first half back. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swung on and crushed. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His second of the game. And the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball. Riding in once again, Maybe number go. two. Two well, home that's runs that's in two at-bats so far, that's and looking to add to that two. here. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at-bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. In there, strike one. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more. Now with the plate, number two. He comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit in the air to right field. Moving under it, Sanchez makes the play, and there are two gone now. Striding into the box, number two, and they're runners at the corners now. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. Castle is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a... Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Yeah, right here, on the back, on the back. But this is out of reach and off the wall. He pulls into third safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. That's the difference between average and good hitters. Good hitters almost always take advantage of RBI opportunities when they present themselves. He does it here, and the lead is now four. 
Juan Soto to the plate now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Soto. Hard hit ball to short. Two is left. Alexander. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. We've played eight full. Boston's out in front, nine to five. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Boston came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. George Ortiz claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.